of Delta State have deferred on the custom largely in the East, which forbids a female child from inheritance. In this report, Jonathan Awanyai examines the rights of female children to inheritance of property from their family. Even though the Supreme Court had long laid to rest the eligibility of female offspring to partake in the sharing of their family property in a landmark judgment, to some residents of Delta State, women should not be given the same rights of inheritance as their male counterparts. They argue that it is not ideal for women, particularly the married ones, to come back to share her father's property with the sons. Women have equal rights. Is traditionally it differs from one tradition to another. And in our tradition here, the man have more right on the property than the woman. It's not an equal sharing because the man bear the name of the, the father while the woman grow up and go to marry. Others describe the tradition as repulsive to equity in the modern day. They add in that female offspring deserve same rights given to their male counterparts and therefore should not be discriminated against. When their father is late and they have maybe one or two or three the month, what they normally do, they will drive the woman, carry your things and go home. But some women, they will tell you that nothing like that, you cannot drive me because me and my husband, we are the one who built this house. You have no right to drive me. And the children will now come up. You cannot drive my mother because your mother, they pay the bare price of your mother. And my mother, they pay my mother's bare price. You have no right to drive my mother. So whatever they are going to share, they must share with your, your children. According to Barrister Andrew Acker, the Supreme Court decision settled beyond all doubts the fundamental right of a female to participate in the inheritance of her deceased father's estate. Customary practice and tradition as beating or prohibiting female gender from inheriting the estate of their parents, of their deceased parents, is repugnant to natural justice, equity, and good conscience. And that such and such custom and tradition also is against the spirit of Section 42 of the 1999 Constitution of Federal Republic of Nigeria which prohibits gender discrimination. Many are of the opinion that denying female children's rights to their parents' properties is an extension of discrimination against women.